Hey guys, it is the Dragon once again coming to you with an absolutely phantasmical, marvelous build for Magic. Um, I really, really like Magic. You know, I knew going into playing her, I was gonna love her. I just love the theme, the whole necro, like demonic theme. She's summoning stuff. She's teleporting all over the place. She was fun to level. She was fun to try to get through cosmic as well. Um, I really, really enjoy playing her a ton. I just love some of her um, like ad lib she does. You know, her little like Russian accent. Um, very, very fun, good character to play. So I'll go ahead and dive into some of the skills here that help me just kind of blast through fucking cosmic. Soul Sever. Um, this is the bit I took out the dash completely. This is the skill that I used for my dash. It's a four second cooldown. Um, it teleports to pretty much anywhere on the screen to, to whatever enemy you're targeting and does a backstab. You're going to teleport behind them and use that soul sword to cleave them asunder. You're trying to fucking just push this thing all the way through their, through their guts. Um, it does, you know, mediocre damage, but it's an execute as well. And what was really nice is with this build, you know, I chose not to take the dash power and this worked out perfectly. A lot of fun. Um, next up, we have Soul Shockwave, another really, really fun ability. Um, I spec'd her so that she's going to be pretty much melee with summons. Um, just a dash of melee. Um, she's going to be doing a ton of damage still and then have out all her summons that I could possibly have um, Minus one of the like barrier skills, but soul, so soul shockwave is going to do you know about 23 24k damage on average um, It's going to crit and it's going to brutal every single eight seconds But what's really nice about this as well this particular build whenever she uses a magic power she's going to do 15% more um, She's going to get 15% more melee damage as a buff and then she'll also do a vulnerability debuff to the enemy um, just by using a magic skill. So this, having this in my rotation, especially during the Cosmic Trial, was a huge boon. Um, definitely helped out quite a bit. Um, one negative thing with this perk is that it is going to do reduced damage to enemies that are behind that first enemy you hit. Um, it will still cut through everybody and you'll see it crits and brutals. Um, really, really nice damage coming from this ability. Um, next up, we have the Sorceress Eruption. Now, this one does good damage, but this one just completely was taking chunks off of people's health. Um, it does 20 to 31k damage, you know, probably 25k on average. But whenever I hit with this, I was hitting, you know, 40, 50k with that 15%, um, that boost that you get from using a magic ability, which this is magic as well. Um, it's going to apply that a weakened effect as well as dull brand which is um, the vulnerability effect. So you're going to do more damage to the enemies and you're going to get a 15% damage buff. Oh, I think I kind of messed it up earlier. But anyways, this skill is on a four second cooldown. It doesn't say it right there. Um, it just says the attack speed, but this one is absolutely a must to use. You're going to want to run around, pop it every single time. Um, with this particular build, I didn't want you standing in one place because though she has some really good defense, if she's in one place, no dash she's going to get obliterated so i'm just popping and moving popping and moving popping and moving all cooldowns um to get past cosmic especially um, next up we have the otherworldly nova which is a really fantastic ability um, this is her signature this skill is going to do so much damage every time you pop it not only that it's going to tie into some of our other talents to really bring the um the vengeful spirits back because you'll be using those every time you pop a soul shockwave and a sorceress eruption. The soul server is completely melee and more of a teleport executability. Um, it'll apply soul brand, which all your attacks are already going to apply soul brand, which is that 10% vulnerability for the enemy. And it's going to give you health and spirit every 30 seconds. I have personally seen this skill crit for three, or excuse me, I've seen it brutal for roughly 300k or so. Um, three, four hundred K, you know, crits on average would be about 200, 250, somewhere in between there. Very, very nice skill. Does a lot of damage. It has an amazing effect. Um, next up for the summons, this is where it gets really fun. Only I chose to go with the basic unchanging. command lesser demons purely because they have multiple attacks. They have two attacks versus the one that the range demons get. Um, they have the demon bite and the demon claw, you know, it does very mediocre damage, but you've got three of them They're going to be tearing into the enemy lacerating them They're going to be absorbing any attacks the enemy do that happens to pass by them um, really going to be holding a lot of space which is important because 
they're going to be taking the hits. They're meat shields. They're meat bags. Um, so it's a very good skill to have. You can try to really, you know, what I try to do is pretty much get behind my demons. Um, a lot of movement, though, is going to be needed because those line of sight attacks will destroy you. Mandarin's fire will cut these guys down um, every single time. But 10 second cooldown, you'll be proccing these left and right. Um, next up is this freaking meat shield of a motherfucker. This guy is so good right here. Um, Command Fist of Nastir, if I pronounce that right. He's going to come out looking like the freaking blob. Big, meaty son of a bitch. Um, he's going to be able to do fist crush, backhand, heavyweight stomp, all for decent damage for a summon. More importantly, every single time he attacks, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, he's going to be critting, he'll be brutaling. It's going to be insane. Um, I really, really, really like this skill just because he takes up so much space. He's got 400% max health. Um, he lasts for an entire minute, so you're going to have that chance to use those skills more versus resummoning him like you will have to for the command lesser demons. Um, he is a very, very, very good um, pet that you have here. Next up, I chose Back from Limbo. Um, the Back from Limbo talent is pretty interesting. What you can do is pretty much... Um, attack an enemy with this skill as they're about to die and you can absorb them um, and you know pretty much send their ass to limbo and you can call on them anytime that you want every 30 seconds or so um, you want to get a pet that's going to be real good I chose to get the dark elf assassins I think from the scroll um, from the scroll operation I think it's like the palace of Odin operation um, just because they had a teleport I really wanted something that had a teleport so when I popped it it would jump into combat it's going to do a 4,000 or so, you know, twice per second while it's in combat. It's also going to shoot off these orbs that also do another 12,000 damage per hit. Um, like rapid fire these orbs for the 10 second duration. The damage it does is 200% um, of that return of the original minion's damage, but realistically, that damage is pretty mediocre. Um, like that Dark Elf Assassin, he has a DLT that ticks for like 700, so that is very mediocre damage. I mean, you know, you can say it's added damage, but it's shit. Um, what you're more wanting is them to get inside of that DOT area as well as him to be shooting off orbs left and right which he'll do automatically with the power. So that's why I chose to go with the Dark Elf Assassins. You guys can choose to go whatever you want. Um, I've seen people get like the flamethrower minions. I've seen people get purifier so they get the shield. Um, there's a few different options you can go with. Um, and lastly we have Dark Pact here. Very nice survival ability that's going to also increase your damage. For the attacks that you'll be doing um really boosting that up there so as you can see with with all the damage buffs you have the 15 percent to melee you're gonna have that vulnerability on all the enemies from using your magic attacks and you'll have the 15 percent for 10 seconds while this is active um not only that you'll have you want to make sure you use this while you have your three lesser demons up it may be hard to keep track of but i usually like to pop this if i'm not like about to die um, around the time that I summon my demons because I know that they're still alive. Um, you'll get 240% health back, or excuse me, you'll get a 240% damage, um, a damage shield. That way you can run around, you know, it's nearly three times as much as your life. You won't be taking much damage at all with this particular build as long as you use it right. Um, I wasn't sure if I was able to get through Mandarin's fire with this because I know his fire does a ridiculous amount of damage, which is always like a key note to really avoid, um, which is where Soul Server comes in because you can actually teleport behind Mandarin if he's about to use that fire and you'll completely avoid it. Um, but a very, very nice skill. And tied in with your other pets, I mean, you're going to be a freaking monster, a tank, um, for the most part, if any damage does come your way. So very, very nice play style with this particular build that I found here. Um, the, her ultimate, Dark Child, though you can't use it in the Cosmic Trial, it's a very fun ability to use. Um, you know, at least the full pow power of your Demonic Wrath, May Limbo and Earth both bow to your feet. Um, does 6,000 damage twice per second and then boost all your stats for the most part that are key to her a tremendous amount. I mean, you get health back a thousand per second. For 20 seconds, she's going to be doing a shit ton of damage. It's going to increase her critical strike damage, her damage rating, brutal strike damage. Um, you're going to see those crits crit for a lot in those brutal strikes. Brutal for an insane amount. So very, very cool power here. And you can do emotes in it, which is pretty nice as well. Um, I'll post the link of the synergies that I go through with her 
later on what i chose to do um was go 100 percent crit chance you know i've only got 43 points or so so i got 10 10 levels in the crit chance that's just because i wanted to crit more you got a lot of forms of damage all proccing it or all hitting at the same time you know you've got five six pets um or excuse me five pets and they're going to be throwing out attacks left and right so i just wanted something in the background i didn't choose to go with defense because her defensive buff is so powerful um next up we have the talents here so my first time i chose to go with deadly fangs magic powers apply soul blaze which is the 15 percent melee um, power buff for yourself to the powers um which is most importantly going to affect sorcerer's eruption and then you know spirit fangs gets a cooldown but i chose not to put that in this build so um it is what it is like you can apply the dot or excuse me you can apply the vulnerability by either using sorcerer's eruption or soul shockwave next up you've got branded mines soul brand's base effect is automatically applied whenever you hit with the magic power um so anytime i use the magic power if i use sorcerer's eruption or soul shockwave boom they're getting that soul brand effect on them very nice it was in the background didn't have to worry about it and i'm going to do increased damage the entire time as well as get a 15 percent melee buff um, I chose not to take Soul Brand, even though the Confuse is very, very nice. I tried to run it with the Confuse. I just felt like it wasn't, it just wasn't as good as I was hoping. It's a four second um, Confuse, but it's like a 12 second cooldown, I think. So, you know, it stopped some of the attacks, but overall, um, it just didn't have that effect that I wanted. And the DOT on there wasn't as anywhere near as good as the damage from the other abilities I selected are going to be. Um, and then obviously Limbo's Enforcer, you're, you're going to want to get that Fist of Naster um, way, way, way better than the other pet. Um, it is a melee pet, so it'll have to run to melee, but its damage is so fucking fantastic. Um, next up, Restless Spirits. Automatically trigger two Vengeful Spirits whenever you Spirit Fang, Soul Shock, Wave, Soul Brand, or Sorcerer's Eruption. And it gives you 10 Spirits um, total. So essentially what this means is whenever you use your signature attack, you're going to get health spirit and you're going to get maxed out um you're going to get maxed out on your spirit that you have so that comes into play every time you use one of your soul shock waves or source of eruption abilities um it's going to shoot off two of these so very background effect you know they do roughly 6k damage um adds up over time if you're using this you know you're in the instance for 10 minutes at the most um, it can definitely add up and you'll see those crit and proc as well. Not only that, but it's an AOE effect. So if I can shoot off a power and get 12,000 more damage um, at the very bare minimum to multiple enemies, I'm all for it. That's why I chose to go that route um, for this particular power. And then Explosive Will. Um, this was the power I chose to go with as well over the Otherworldly Command due to the fact that this is only for 10 seconds you know you do an, a ridiculous amount of damage for 10 seconds and you can actually spec into this one after cosmic um in my opinion just for flavor you'll do so much fucking burst damage that'll be unreal um but with this one i wanted to be able to continue to move and really dot or excuse me and really do damage to those enemies while i'm moving around just non-stop because soul brand soul brand will apply a dot to them and both of these skills apply soul brand but what this one does is increases it gives each skill a cooldown but it also increases the damage by 200% for soul eruption and for soul shockwave and increases the area of effect by a ton for both abilities hitting all the enemies um, so you can really burst down everybody just due to the fact that they're coming at you very strong you have to move around you can't really take time to see him let me target this guy let me target this guy or hope that your minion is going to kill him within the 10 seconds that you have that big burst DOT um, you'll be doing a lot of damage with this build very fun um, what I will touch on lastly before I peace out of here is that if I were to play the game in like a patrol maybe or even just like do operations if I was going to main this very nice blonde bombshell here I would spec out a soul sever and I would go ahead for my X button I would use either soul cleaving or soul slashing so soul cleaving is going to do more damage for those soul branded enemies which your other attacks are already going to help boost that effect. Um, but it will drain your spirit pretty quickly. 
um, it's going to do a ton of damage. I mean, 10, 11k on average, quickly, boom, boom, boom. You know, nearly three attacks per second. Um, so very nice attack. This one will actually not do nearly as much damage. I say it probably do half uh, the amount of damage on average but it'll give you more spirit back if you are kind of running low on spirit if you're popping all these abilities and you know, honestly i would in all honesty i wouldn't think there would be a need for more spirit um but with that being said if you run out of spirit you can't use soul cleaving you'll have to just run around and kind of wait until either um soul cleaving or otherworldly noble pops back so you can get your spirit back so just be cognizant of that um, if you wanted to spec out of Soul Sever and maybe get to another cooldown or even spec out of Soul Shockwave, which I'm not a complete fan of, and get something like 7 League Step just for flavor maybe, um, you can do that as well. So there are some definite opportunities for some, you know, some variations on the build and I definitely would advise you guys to go try it out, um, try it for yourselves, but this is the build that I would utmost recommend to go past Cosmic. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely get back to me. Um, or any like build suggestions I'm all for it and I'll pop over to my inventory real quick so with her I did have you know decent gear I wouldn't I don't have any cosmics obviously um, just real base gear that I found while leveling up I just happened to get quite a few um, pieces of gear while I was running treasure rooms between 58 and, and 60 or so um, one thing that I did find that I had in my in my mail that I wasn't going to use was the Tome of Ostar. Gain 2,000 magic damage rating while above 90% max health and gives you 1,000 base health uh, on top of that. Um, very, very, very good artifact here. If you have something like this, I would definitely equip it or like a shield artifact like this one um, that I found as well. When your health drops below 50%, negate half of all incoming damage for 10 seconds. Um, very nice. If you have any artifacts or catalysts like that, they're going to add a shield. That's only going to boost your survivability in every single cosmic you do with every single character. Um, that one's the Advanced Amulet of Agamotto and the Tome of Ostra. Um, I don't think this one... Yeah, this is just like a basic one I, I found sometimes. Just increases your damage and crit rate just a bit. Um, and I chose to go with the Relic of Atlantis for Deflect. But for the most part, I don't have crazy incredible gear. Um, I've got the Grim Reaper Medallion on after I kill them. Like, I just kill them late in the game. Um, but this affects the Vanquish enemies that does not work in Cosmic. Um, I more just got it for the defense as well as the damage rating. So that sums it up, guys. Um, I'll be rolling through some of the Cosmic gameplay I have next up. And if you guys have any questions, again, reach out. Have a good day. I just want to have fun. Everything don't mean everything all the time. <laughs> hmm. Well, you see, I wake up, floss my teeth, go and grab something to eat, toss on the funky beat, and go to work, brother. I ain't paid and I prefer something sweet. When I blow a slide, it ain't discreet. And I swear that I don't rock with she. If she got a pair of rocky feet, nah. okay, baptized, born again, and L L gon' act a fool. Yep. Handyman of my craft, MacGyver style. No matter where I got the two, yep. and my shot wet, brother. Yeah. Inside or outside, I got the pool. Man. Ray J spaz on the radio, and Leon spaz when he hit the booth. And boy, I'm looking right past ya. I'm living immaculate, and all you do is cry, could cry, could cry, cry. But I'm turning up, I'm drinking so fast, so my girl puffing the grass, though. And I'm just asking how, 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 how. Like bread and meth, which my city's the capital love. My people be smacked in the club, I'm smacking the bud. She's smacking me back in return, feeling so molly passing the herb. My people stay hardly passing the tip. I'm talking like hardly passing the curve. And I just got us looking like C raps, just reaching, hardly grabbing for nerves. Hot damn, hot damn. If one of us don't grow and come back for the others, boy, we ain't got no hope. Brother, we ain't got no hope, and that's no joke, good lord. So be letting the boy go. Don't be keeping them cages, be letting the boy go. Damn your life, let the boy flow, let the boy flow, good lord. Pull my string, and I'll wink at you. Yes, sir. I'm your puppet. Ha! Illuminating, doing my thing, don't care who be hating. I don't watch my exes, don't care who she dating. I don't care if she white, Mexican, or Asian. I'm more interested in the food I'm tasting. Had a girl that's by the way of Decatur, another girl that was a true Jamaican. Was looking in on this other baddie. Everybody around me told me she was Asian. Throw it at me, I'ma dodge it. Even in my room, I'm talking bucket booty naked. Girl, I'm not scared to pass up. I never look back up. Huh? I'm focused on the now and all that will be. I swear to God, I'm never. I'ma act up, I'll never relax, cause
cuz I'm a factor. Never scared to black, huh? On everybody trying to chase me off my throne. King of my domain, I ain't stepping down. Bringing that ring home. Do that for my folks, I won't let them down. Want my place so full, but I'm gonna leave bones, I ain't wasting there. Feeling so damn cool. Sexy too, that's even with crazy hair. And that's yam life. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. My nigga 95 just walked through this bitch. My nigga Hakeem in this bitch. CTS, nigga. Engineer by Chula, nigga. Remember that shit. Rolling down pine, switching lanes, though. Bill Goldberg, I'm so toasty, it's a shame, ho. Call me Aquaman, I be rolling paper planes, or Catch me out in Turley, blowing big and back with Swango. I'm probably chilling with your BM watching Django. At first we was cool and then I made her give me Kango. Top from thoughts, the black is hot, I'm probably bumping Wayne, no. Big shout out to Coosie, boy, he almost let that thing go. He was in, I'm back in this bitch like an encore. Trading my threes for the concourse Blunt louder than a lawnmower Running through this grass, gunning for the cash You can call it what you wanna but I know all my niggas on it Fuck the fame, we want the honors Money, bags, and marijuana Well, up, who got the flag? Can't trust these thoughts, better watch it down That's easy water, I'm Aquaman Hard on the paint like I'm Black and Flame Box the kitty like a scary movie too I'm cheap and geeking like I'm Marlon Wayans Truck is kicking, this is Spider Man Kirby in my cup, mono pulled it up, 11 o'clock on the dock. I'm facing the L and I'm higher than Spock. I'm so fucking fresh, they think I'm selling rocks. I just need something hot to come jump on my cock. And then, yo, chicks in the text on my phone. I'm chilling alone, I guess we can go. We're here to the pipe, I can box with a kite, but I gotta get right with that polo cologne. So, I paused the GTA 5, had the next started jacket with the wolf gray paws and the cup in that land where the niggas take pride. And taking your bands, I be taking your body, you know she gon' rock. That deep, what? Dope shit in my speed. Come to my crib and we fall in the case she hit a dab and it made ass hollow shake now that hope hot in the cell hot in the cell we hot in the cell hey hot in the cell she hot in the cell hey hot in the cell we hot in the cell hey that's easy water from Aquaman. Goldberg, I'm so toasty, it's a shame. Call me Aquaman, I be rolling paper planes. Catch me out in Turley, blowing big and back with swing. Bound nickels and dimes in a little pie, but my life ain't been sweet for a little time. And you simple minded bastards keep on asking about my life, but not directly. I can't tell if you've been trying to detect me or just detest me, boy. I'd rather you just try to best me than correct me like you give a uh, silly nuts get cracked and lit like Philly Blunt's eye. Did enough out on St. Louis to get paper, roll with young mess and Jay Taylor. Talk that wrong mess and get tapered. Uh, young and stressed, but no gangster, no regrets and no chaser. Throw it back, I say no relaxing, no waiting. Pat, pat, pat for those haters, know your facts. I'm like, yeah, I'm throw no bad and no anthrax. So the most hated, but stay away from my basement. So far away from my back. Too controlling, know your road so you can slow it. You a hoe and you ain't never been a man. Huh? Gingerbread won't ever catch me dozing. I'm a poison and I'm potent. Better go before you end up in the red. Yeah. Out here acting like a little rodent. Better pay you hit that toe. Keep acting slow. I promise that's gonna be your head. Huh? Little man ain't nothing but a locust. Boy, I know you see me focused. Don't move closer cause I've kind of been on edge. Yeah. I've kind of been on. <laughs> Don't push me cause I'm so close to that edge. Bodies dropping, them bodies dropping, somebody watching, they dead. No more witnesses, no more instances where y'all think y'all ahead, cuh. Cause you right off the ledge, cuh. Don't you think I'm the man, huh? <laughs>
I said, don't you think I'm the man, huh? <laughs> Disagree, boy, and stand up. I said, hold it up and get knocked down. Hold it up and get, hold it up and get, hold it up and get knocked down. Hold it up and get, hold it up and get. <laughs> Leon. Yeah, I'm 